I've been looking for something to help me with generating YouTube videos with AI. And I've tried out a few things and I found a platform that I kind of like for a few different reasons. It allows team members collaboration. It's pretty much a great springboard for generating your basic idea and then building out and editing the complete video. It's more than just a, a one-off you know, kind of generator. It actually has a video editor and a, a bunch of other cool features built in. Document to video, article to video. It generates video script. So I wanted to show you guys, I think it's pronounced Capwing, but I've heard people in their videos say something like Capwing. Not sure what the exact pronunciation is of this web service, but uh, Capwing is pretty awesome and I just signed up for a year, so let's check it out. So you're going to want to open your web browser and go to the link down in the description. Thank you very much. And you'll want to create an account. You can try Capwing for free. If you want to, just click that button right there. It'll take you through a little, you know, account creation process. And then you'll be in. Let me go ahead and sign in. And their sign in is a little bit different. Oh, wait. Unexpected error. Uh-oh, wonder what that means. There we go, code sent. I just had to click on it twice. So their sign-in's a little bit different. It sends you like a little magic code and then you have to use it to sign in. Boom, and here we are. When you first log into Capwing, you won't have all these projects. These are projects that I've created. I created a little YouTube channel to experiment with this. And I'm doing kind of a mix of things. At first, I thought I would just be able to crank out videos and have them be ready. And you can certainly make short videos that way, kind of what I call info nuggets and stuff like that. But you can also use Capwing to build out larger videos. And today I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you a short video generated with just a simple prompt and how to go in and edit it, clean it up. And then we're going to work on a longer video where I feed it prompt by prompt sections of what I want the video to be. And that's more of like a storyboard use of Capwing. So let's check it out. Let's create a new project. And you have the option right here down at the bottom. What you'll want to do, don't select any of this stuff here just yet, and you'll figure out why later if you do that. But down here at the bottom, you have your options for article to video, document to video, create a video script about, create a meme about, create an image about, and create a video about. I'm going to use create a video about. Then I'm going to select my aspect ratio because I'm wanting to put this on YouTube, but you've got all these other aspect ratios ready to go. And then you choose the style of text you want. So see if you select it, it shows you an example over here. My favorite, or you know, probably one of the more common that you see used on YouTube, the kind of shadowy black, white, and gold. I just think it looks clean. So let's see. Let's make something about my favorite animal or creature, the octopus. How to make friends with an octopus. All right, let's see if we can do it. We got our generate video down here. Click on generate video. It can take it anywhere from like 20 seconds up to a minute to generate your video. Sometimes a little longer, depending on if you, you know, feed it something that it has to really search for things. What I like about this AI video generator, it's not generating video. It's pulling stock clips, stock photos off of the internet, assembling them, and it's also pasting the citation data too so that you, know, you don't end up in copyright violation. It also assembles no more than seven second chunks of each different thing. So those who are aware of the copyright things and how to build a video, that's a good way to, to prevent yourself from getting a strike especially if you're using content that people might have used on other channels like Nat Geo, Smithsonian, stuff like that. Okay, you can see it's starting to build the video over here. Alrighty, let's see what happened. See how cool that is? Instant baked video. I get such a kick out of this.
perfect. Perfect little short 40 second video to, you know, make a little cute nugget or knowledge nugget. So what I'm gonna do now is go back and edit it. I am really OCD when it comes to placement, things like that. I don't really like this fine art in the corner so you can see it kind of zooms out of it, but I'm gonna help it. I'm gonna select this image back here and we're gonna zoom to the point where you never see fine art. I'm gonna move this into a position that pleases me. And let's take a look. Now you never see the little fine art that was in the corner of that image, but it's still cited. So you can see that this image came from images.fineartamerica. Now we have the next, and I don't want the dodo. I mean, maybe it doesn't bother some people. I just don't like graphics and logos in there. I'm fine with crediting, you know, the original, original footage. And I'm also going to move this. I want it to be placed more or less exactly where the other one was. There we go. And you can change that. There's no hard fixed rules. You know, if there's something in the image that you want to be visible, you might even place it up here. Who knows? I've done that in different videos. Alrighty. So let's keep going. I can't help but notice. Okay, it's still moving. It's just moving very slowly. There we go. Let's call that video a wrap. So I'm gonna, this video is automatically saved. Let's say we want to export it. We would go up here and we'd go to export project. You choose your video format. I usually go with MP4 and then you choose what resolution. Now 4K, sometimes it will error out, especially if you're using, you know, content within it that doesn't qualify. So I usually go with 1080, something like that. And I always go for as high a quality as I can. Totally depends on what your purpose is, I guess. So now that we've got that done, it's kind of being hidden by my image, but there's our export as MP4 button. And I'm gonna export, it kicks off a process over here. And what's cool is while this is exporting, you can actually go about your business and do other stuff if you want. So this might take a few seconds to export. So I'm gonna go over here and if you see in the very corner of the screen, we have new folder. It's basically a file path. It's kind of hard to see. When I go back out, there we go. Earth is full of wonders, including, there we go, it added. How to make friends with an octopus. There's my new project. So I can come back to it and edit it later and grab the exported version. All right. So that's, that's how to make a simple 30 second video. That was easy as pie, right? So, uh, Let's see how to make a longer video. Create a new project. I'm gonna go through the same process. Now let's see what I wanna do. I've been wanting to do this explanation of flat earth. Not that I'm a flat earther, I'm not. But I had this kind of hypothetical mind experiment and uh, maybe it'd be fun to do that in this video. Where is that puppy? Hold on one second while I find it. All right, found it copied it, it's ready to paste. So now we've gone to create a new project and I'm actually going to try document to video since this is a little bit longer of a piece. Paste it in there. Sometimes formatting can impact how things come out. <laughs> I've found that out, especially if there's no spaces. I don't know why that is, but I'm gonna go in and kind of clean it up, make it a little bit neater for the AI to parse. Select my aspect ratio and let's see if it can crank on this. Sometimes it has trouble with document to video. I think it's just if you feed it too much information, it will error out and not generate the video sometimes. Hopefully it can have fun with this one. Might be a bit esoteric. Give that another whirl. So if it fails, then what you'll want to do is you'll have to select the aspect ratio again because it'll default back to the Instagram ratio and then attempt again. Believe it or not, I've done this like five or six times before and eventually had it crank out a video. Don't waste too much time, but you definitely want to give it more than one try if it fails out. Now it's not the end of the world. If it fails out, what we're going to do is feed it chunks of the document instead of the whole document.
It's building something. It was way too short to have covered any of the material that I wanted to cover. There we go. It actually opened that you, you can never really tell how these are going to come out, but this is very cool because it, it really opens up with two big points that weren't necessarily right next to each other in my original writing, but it, that's a good presentation. Mm. So yeah, that's, that's quite a, a truncation of all the things I wanted to do. So what I'm going to do now, since I, I like some of those chunks, but I don't like all of them, now I'm going to try to feed it piece by piece. We're going to create a longer video by taking our cursor to the end of the project and then go back up here and you'll see this light bulb create with cap wing. When you open up your generator now, whatever video, whatever video that it generates is going to put itself right at the end of your last video. So let's try breaking this up into chunks. Highlight it all. Let's open up some notes. And let's try Let's try doing one chunk at a time. Generate video. Now keep in mind, it's probably going to be a little bit redundant here. And this is where I'm going to have to go back and play video editor. Line up the next chunk. I'm going to only feed it about two paragraphs at a time. Oh, also, one thing that happens. See how we have two different audios? Every time you generate a new video, it pulls a random audio clip. So what you'll probably have to do is delete the ones you don't like, and you can extend the ones you do. I just pull that there. Assuming the clip is actually long enough, it should go throughout the duration of the project if we're doing like a two, three minute project. So let's see how it came out. Eh, kind of rough. <laughs> so it's kind of jagged around the edges there, but I'm going to keep going. So let's generate another one, and I'm going to do it with my next chunklet of text. Generate video. Keep in mind, I am not a flat earther. This hypothetical thing I'll probably put up as a finished video and link to it down below so you can see what I'm actually talking about. Purely a hypothetical, a fun clickbait attention grabbing YouTube video. That's basically the point of it. I'm also kind of playing devil's advocate like, you know, why would any powerful group lie if such lie about such a thing? I don't have to stretch my imagination far to figure that out. Come on, there we go. Not quite. Now let's grab the next chunk of text. Put my cursor down. And I'll come back and edit some of this here in a minute. And this is going to be something I come back and edit and actually do post to my YouTube channel, Freaky Fun Facts, just because it's kind of fun. All right. Let's generate another video. Boom. And we're gra we'll grab the last. <laughs> nice. Little magician circle image. Okay, it's getting a bit redundant, so let's put the final touches on it. Let's generate the last of it. I'm going to see if it can actually chew the, the rest of it. Helping the AI out a little bit from experience. 
All right, come on, last mile. Big money, big money. Well, I'm definitely going to come back and edit that. So it kind of takes its own creative freedom sometimes. So yeah, it definitely mutilated my ideas. I like the way it presented some things, but I'm probably going to go back through and just paste what I have written into these boxes and gradually build the project. I'll change out some of the footage. You know, it, it needs to really be mine. But you can see how you haven't, I mean, this is a great start. This could have taken me hours alone if I had built it from scratch completely. Now I've got the skeleton of the video that I want, and I'm going to go in and make it mine. I'm not going to subject you guys to every bit of that, but I am going to show you some of the cool things you can do. So let's see an example of doing some editing. I'm just doing this as an example. So on this one, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm moving it so you can see there's a transparent rectangle. And if I want to change the size of that, I can double click on the rectangle. And now I can change just the dimensions of that. And now I can move it around. You can also, when you select your text, you have the ability to change the color. You can animate the text. You've got effects. So there's, there's really kind of a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this. You can also go text to speech. Let's see what a female American sounds like. I'm going to, come on, where'd it go? Maybe the music is drowning it out. Hmm, I'm not hearing it. Let's uh cancel. Revert. So let's revert that back. I just think that's a cool effect, but I'm not sure why it's not working. The motive for the live. There we go. Let's extend this. Motive for the lie might be simple. So, last thing I want to show you. Over here, you've got the ability to manipulate layers. I haven't even gotten into that myself, so you can go quite advanced if you want to. Then we've got repositories of video clips where you can search for clips, images, various kind of elements that you can put over the top. We've got our arrow things like that. So you can do quite a lot with this video editor. You got different circles. I think those are used for different things. You can use them creatively. Like if you want to highlight something, some platforms call it the end screen. Some call it the outro. It's where you have your little subscribe. There we go. Video templates. I'm going to search for outro. And there you can see what I'm talking about. That way you have your little video placements and your subscribe bubble. They've got lots of different templates to choose from. So let's say you find one that you want. Let's go into this one and you can go into edit this template or we can search for this template. So blue black blue, blue background with stars. Let's find that one in our video editor. Blue background. Let's do a little searchy search. And if it can't find it, then we'll just go to view all templates again. Blue background. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of those. But there's the end screen, the one we want to edit. We'll go to edit this template. And it opens up a new project. But if we want to use this, the easiest way to use it is to just select everything. You'll use your cursor to highlight it all. Then you can copy. 
Once you have it copied, you go back to your main project. And so I'm going to add this to the end of my little flat earth template. Go right here, little pasty paste. And you can see it's kind of busy. It added a few more tracks. And I can extend my music so that it goes through the screen, the title screen. And I'm going to extend everything so that it lasts a little longer because I think that's just a little too short. I like to give my my users on YouTube time to see that and oh yeah I might want to subscribe I might want to like it so let's see alrighty pulling that out and I guess this little video clip just is not long enough to to go further so I'm gonna replace that anyway probably with some footage of an octopi let's see if that puts itself where it needs to be no it doesn't so I'll figure that out later I'm going to upload this to YouTube, so when I actually go to YouTube, and I'll probably recreate this whole screen actually to my liking, you can delete everything on it if you want and add your own video, add your own backgrounds. The main thing is to get this subscribe template. When we're in YouTube and we've uploaded it, it will actually give you the option to drag the video coming next over into this spot so that it'll look perfect, uh, at least on the YouTube channel. That's uh, my basic tutorial of Capwing. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And thanks again. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Use my link down below and I will get a little bit of a kickback. Uh, Capwing does have affiliate potential. So if you also want to start digging in, making videos and sharing your link, you can do that too. Um, happy Friday, everybody. Onward and upward.